All right, what's happening everybody? It's your boy Akeen and welcome to this vlog. Here to continue with my previews for the 2015 college football season. For this vlog, I'm here to talk about the SMU Mustangs and I think this is going to be another down year for them, but there is a bright thing, a couple of things that are coming in entering this season. They actually have a new coaching staff. Now last year they went 1 and 11. Horrific year, very embarrassing, but they finally pulled off with the last game on victory over on um, Connecticut 27 to 20. Now with the new coaching staff, the new head coach is now Chad Morris of the Clemson Tigers. He was the offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach at Clemson, and he definitely brought a tag along with graduate assistant Joe Craddock as his new offensive coordinator, bringing everybody along. Now the defensive coordinator is Van Malone, and he's definitely trying to sprout up that defense. Now offensively, they average just 11 points per game, and on the defensive end, they they average 41.3 points allowed per game. Two of the worst of, of statistics ever in college football this past season. They're definitely going to have to increase things up this year. And I think this is going to be another downgrading year because of this, the uh, the roster that they do have. Now at quarterback, there is Matt Davis. He had only three touchdown passes and five interceptions last season. But he did lead the team in rushing with 613 yards and four TDs on the ground. Now they do have a good special teamer in Deion Sanders Jr. And he's actually was first team All-American Athletic Conference as a return specialist. And he should definitely be used a lot more as a wide receiver entering this season. Now on the defensive side, there's only two players that I'm looking at who should be stepping up as leaders. And that they are seniors Zach Wood who had four sacks last season and John Yang. They're going to have to step it up as seniors, but that defense, ugh, pretty terrible. They're just going to have to try to, to try to find a way to, to bring um, bring more recruits, better recruits um, um, to enter the school, to bring to put this team back in the hunt and possibly try to make it become contenders for their conference. Now, as far as talking about their recruits, they did pick up two four-star recruits and a third um, solid recruit as well. Um, now, as far as their four-star recruits, they did pick up quarterback Ben Hicks. He's um, from the um, from Waco, Texas. He was rated the number 22 quarterback according to ESPN, not too far from SMU, as well as two wide receivers receivers from the same exact school in DeSoto, Texas, DeSoto High School, both wide receivers in James Proch as well as Kevin Thomas. These are their top three recruits entering this season and they did do a great job trying to address the offensive unit and try to build more weapons around on offense. And even Ben Hicks could possibly become the starting quarterback as a true freshman or at least get some playing time. He should get some playing time this year and did become a starter possibly as a sophomore. But hey, anything can happen as a freshman. Now, my overall prediction this season, I think they're going to have another down year. I will give them a second win this year, so I think they're going to go 2-10 and 10 overall, which is an improvement of what we saw last season. But because of the lack of depth that they have on both sides of the field, I do not see this team winning more than two games this season. If they do, hey, it's a great job uh, for the coaches and the coaching staff, but hey, I don't really see that happening because of the talent that they have, both offensively and defensively. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys will be in just a couple of minutes. I have, I believe, five more blogs for you for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.